We're getting ready to take our drag bike, the Quartermaster, up to a speed weekend at Elvington in Yorkshire. While Sam is tinkering away, I've headed south in search of advice from one of the greatest British riders of all time. So where would you come to visit a drag racing legend? Well, an industrial estate in Essex. That's where. Now, a lot of people have heard of Hagen Shocks, but what fewer people realise is that the founder of the company is Alf Hagen, one of the great names of British motorcycling. He's the first Brit to go over 200 miles an hour, the breaker of several world records, and has more trophies than Amel Marcus has shoes. He started his career as a grass track rider and won 11 national grass track championships before he got the sprinting bug. If there's one man who knows about 1960s drag bikes and how to ride them, it's Alf. So what will he make of the Quartermaster? Yeah. Um, what do you mean, yeah? Um, Go on, well, tell me. Well, you ought to see the picture of the first one I've built. Right. Yeah. Um, do yeah, you no. recognise it at all? No, it's not. It's not one of not one of ours. No, Can, nothing to do with us. Clearly, Alf isn't impressed. But I have to admit that compared to Alf's own bike, the Quartermaster does seem a little crude. His design philosophy was simple: choose a big, powerful engine like this Jap V twin, and then make the rest of the bike as streamlined and minimal as possible. The thinnest, lightest frame, the smaller seat you can get away with and the most aerodynamic nose cone. Hey, let me show you something else, all right? Nowadays, telemetry, laptops, and about 30 people. In Alf's day, uh, small book. Mm. Mm. This is fascinating. When's this? This is uh, 1967. In Holland, a 10.3, a 10.5. Demo run, a demo run with a crosswind in 67, you were doing a 10.03. Yeah, look at that, man. Hey, look, check after every run, and this was the list of things that you needed to check. Unbelievable. That's a bit of history in my yeah. hand. But what tips can he give me for riding my bike? What, what are you doing? Are you getting, getting on? Yeah. <laughs> now, this, yeah. this is really... Brilliant to ride. You come go up the strip. Yeah. Then you say, I've got no goggles. You don't need goggles. Because I've saw you on here. Look, right. Is that you doing a run? Yeah. What was it about drag racing that rode your boat? Was that acceleration addictive? Is that what it was all about? Well, yeah. It was just about um, you know doing it better than everybody else. That's what it was, was all about. In his heyday, Alf really was the man to beat, a class act and a fearless competitor. What's your final bit of advice to me? Get your head down? Um, final advice? Well, apart from don't, don't do it, but you want to do it. Um, <laughs> no, it's um, just treat it as though you're going shopping. Shut your eyes, pull throttle, dump the clutch. Simple as that. When do I open my eyes? Oh, well, when, you know, well, as soon as you got going, yeah, yeah. Not at the end. Not at the end, no. <laughs> but say, hey, yeah. Okay, mate, or oh, I've got it, okay. Full throttle, close your eyes, dump the clutch. No, close your eyes first. Oh, okay, I've got to get the procedure right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alf, look, I've got to tell you about it. It's been a privilege for me to come oh. and see you. Right. And I'll tell you what, uh, if Your Majesty is watching, uh, sort him out of knighthood. <laughs>